Hi guys, it's Rain Foxy, and today I want to talk to you about fursuits. Specifically, how to fly with a fursuit. This was something I had a lot of questions on when I flew to BLFC this year, because it was my first time flying not only by myself, but also with this handsome fella right here. So I ended up digging up a bunch of old posts and journals, asking people what they did, and it all worked out really well. So what I want to do today is share what I've learned with all of you guys, because I would have loved to have a video explaining everything that goes on before I flew for the first time. So first things first, we're going to need a suitcase for everything but the head. So I have two examples of suitcases you could use right here. One is like a soft cover case, and this one is a larger hard shell case. Both will work just fine. I prefer to use the larger one because the hard case is a little bit more protective and ragtime is also bigger and the suitcase is bigger. Most suits will be fine in a case like this. If you do have fragile parts on your suit, I would recommend the hard case just for a little more added protection. Please don't use an action packer, just use a suitcase. The lids on action packers have been known to fall off and then your suit falls out and gets lost forever and it's not good. Some people have used duffel bags before, those probably also work. Basically, you just want to get something that won't come open and lose your one-of-a-kind fursuit. So for the sake of the video, I'm going to use the larger one because Ragtime fits better in it. He does fit in the smaller one with a little bit of finagling, but, you know. And here is what the inside of the suitcase looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and just load all of Ragtime's parts in here so you can see how I do it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the body here. It is sometimes a little difficult to situate him because of his tail, so I usually put that in first. So if you do have big parts on your suit or something like an attached tail, don't worry, you are still good. Just kind of lay him out. Try and get him as not wrinkled up as you can. So I'm laying him pretty flat out. And I'll just fold the legs right on in. So you can see that's taking up a lot of room, but it does squish down. So if you have a smaller case, it will definitely fit, because most suits are made out of foam and polyfill and other squishy things like that. So next I'll put the padding in, and just I'll just kind of rest it on top. And the hands, I usually just tuck into the side of the case. Usually um, near the other side where the zipper is not, but just for the sake of showing you, this is where I would put it. And last but not least is the feet. So I usually put them facing this way. As you can see, this is a pretty tall pile, definitely taller than the suitcase, but it will all squish very nicely into the suitcase and you just zip it right on up and it's good to go. If for some reason you cannot get it to fit or you need to put all of your luggage into one suitcase because you only have one checked bag, you can use vacuum bags. I don't use them because I don't really particularly feel the need to, but that will squish down a lot of the stuffing, you put the feet in polyfill bags, the tail if it's detached, and that will save you a lot of room. I really recommend trying to fly southwest because then you get two checked bags. That way you can have one just for your fursuit and another for everything else that you're bringing to the convention. Of course, if you can fit everything in one suitcase, that's awesome, but ragtime is, is the big boy. So I'll go ahead and put this to the side and talk about the head. Alright, so you obviously noticed that I did not put the head in the suitcase. And this is because fursuit heads tend to be a lot more fragile than everything else. If we stuffed him in a suitcase, his ears might bend funny, his eyes might come out, who knows what would happen to him. And I would definitely like to keep him looking this way. So what you're going to do is carry your fursuit head on the plane with you as a carry-on item. Most airlines let you have two carry-on items, so this will count as one. And then you can bring your purse or bag or whatever else you're going to need. So obviously you're going to have to carry this through security and into the gate area. So to one, keep it from getting dirty, and two, you know, prevent some odd looks coming your way. You can do kind of one of two things. What some people will do is actually get a trash bag, 
and just put your head in the trash bag. This will completely cover it and it's, it's pretty nice. What I like to do is I use, you know those grocery bags you get at Publix and Ragtime just fits very nicely into it, just like that. And that way, I can actually carry it and remove him really easily if for some reason the head needs to come out at some point. But definitely use something to protect your head because airports and airplanes are dirty. You don't want to get that over like nice white fur. So you'll carry your bag through security, which will all be fine. And then once you get on the plane, you can just tuck it right in the seat, under the seat in front of you. I would not recommend putting the heads in the overhead compartment because they can, again, get squished just like the problems with being in a suitcase. Even though I was really worried about it the first time I flew with, with the fursuit, it's actually really, really simple and super easy. So I hope sharing my experience has taught you a little something about that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and like it or comment or do whatever you know you want to do with it. And thank you guys for watching.